Hi, my name is Eric, and we're going to work on a CD player today. I found that most CD players, they stop working because of drawer problems. The electronics are still working fine, but the mechanical drawer stops functioning correctly. It doesn't open, or it gets stuck open, or uh, something happens. And so that's often a drawer issue that needs to be fixed. So we're going to work on a typical CD player uh, Sony model that's a console for a stereo system. Okay, so you can see that the electronics are working okay because the uh, you know we're getting the numbers when we power on, but when we try to open and close the drawer, you just get kind of a humming noise and nothing happens. So the first thing to do is to take the CD player apart. Okay, so I've powered off the CD player and I'm going to take it apart. Um, most CD players, you know, the case is held on by a bunch of little screws. Uh, I found that this is a great tool. This is like a electronics hobby type of screwdriver uh, made by General. And so it's long. It can fit down into little holes if you find screws down there and works real well. So this one, uh, I see some screws on this panel here, so I'm going to start there and then try to get the whole case off. So after I saw that the panel just gave you a little access to the motor, uh, I found that that wasn't really what was keeping the case on. Uh, for the actual cover of the case, there was a little hole in the back, and once I took that screw out, it opens up uh, real similar to like a PC, where this just slides off, and, uh, and we can get in here. So here's the drawer mechanism, and uh, next thing I'm going to try to do is take the whole drawer out. And usually that's just held in by a few screws. I can see one there, uh, look, and one here, and so hopefully it'll just lift out after that. Okay, so I took these two screws out, and it didn't come out right away, so it appears that in order to get the drawer mechanism out, I have to take the faceplate off. The faceplate's held on by this screw, so I just undid this screw, and now the faceplate pops off. Okay, so I got the faceplate off, and uh, the wires are a little short, but it kind of comes out, and I can set it sort of like this. Um, this thing is actually different than I've seen on other CD players, but this is the magnet that uh, connects to the laser's metal to hold the CD in place. So I'm taking that off. And then this is the actual drawer itself. And you see the drawer always has these uh, gear strip on the side. And the gear strip goes along with this gear here, uh, which hopefully when it turns opens the door. Uh, I've got it powered on now, so when I hit open close, see that it spins, and then it gets to this point where it's trying to lift the laser up, um, and that's you know when when you the drawer is coming in, it lifts the laser up to uh, come in contact with the CD, um, and the whole laser mechanism is not coming up when I do that. It just starts to try to come up, but it can't make it, and so then the drawer goes back the other way. So I'm going to have to try to figure out why it's getting stuck there, and uh, again, hopefully maybe just adding some grease will help the cause. So the way that this laser mechanism, this whole chassis is supposed to lift up, is that there's this white peg there at the top of my finger, and the, uh, the peg is in a slot on this wheel. So when this wheel turns, the peg goes around in the slot, and when it gets down to this point, the whole slot has an angle. And so the peg is supposed to go up the angle, uh, causing this whole thing to come up. Uh, but it gets stuck when it hits the angle. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, so this is the angle there, but it gets stuck at the bottom, and so then it just goes back around. And I can actually lift the uh, the laser mechanism at that point and get it to come up. So let's try that. And then I see the laser move around so I can tell that you know that's the right state. So I just gotta hopefully figure out how to get that uh, peg to go up the incline. Okay, so that I can put some grease in the exact right spot. I'm gonna do the open close until it gets stuck and then turn off the power so that it stays in that one place. I'm going to use some 
uh, just some bicycle grease, Teflon fortified bicycle grease, and uh, try to get some on that slot there and, and see if that helps. Okay, I added some grease there with a toothpick, trying it again, and it still does not work. So I'm going to have to take off this wheel and then maybe put some more grease in there or maybe there's something up with the wheel, I'm not sure. So when I took the gear wheel off here, uh, I found that there's this little spring mechanism down here that has this arm and sort of pushes against the wheel. And if I push this spring up so that that arm doesn't go against the wheel, then it opens and closes correctly. There's the down position and it goes right into the up position. So it's this spring arm here that uh, is keeping it from getting all the way up. So I took out the uh, this gear wheel here and you can see that here's that groove that the peg goes in and then it inclines there. So I've greased that all up but again it's the spring arm that's the problem and the spring arm has a little knob that fits into this groove here and right there there's an indentation in the groove and uh, so it seems like whenever the the knob on the spring arm hits this indentation it's getting stuck in there so I'm going back to the grease theory and uh, putting some more grease in this little uh, little indentation here and then we'll try it. So I put some more grease where that little knob hits and it still wasn't quite working and I thought maybe I didn't have it on right and I tightened this and it seemed like it got a little worse then I loosened this a little bit uh, and now it seems like it's working okay. Um, here it goes open and shut so I'm not sure if you know, grease or this being a little bit looser helped. I'm going to put it back together and try again. Alright, so I got it back together and the drawer is opening and closing again. Well, bad news. Once I got it working again, it only worked about three times. It stopped working again. So now I've done a real hack job and I've put a folded piece of paper uh, in between the arm and this little peg so that the, uh, the spring arm stays open a little bit more. Um, it's still touching the dial a little bit but not too much so it's not restricting the, uh, the open and close anymore so I'm going to put it back together like that. So it's important to take note that right now this is in the position to play a CD because the laser uh, chassis came up and so because it's in position to play a CD, I need to put the drawer back in the closed position. Um, you definitely don't want to get your gears off phase uh, by putting the drawer in the open position uh, when the CD player thinks that everything is in the closed position. Okay, I got the front panel back on, which took a little bit of finessing because the drawer, you know, I have to make sure that the drawer gets in the slot. Uh, I'm going to try it one more time with the open and close. Alright, back together again. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> 